Let's look at a typical example in the HyperWorks Design Explorer, a beginning-to-end workflow for design exploration. Beginning with exploration setup, design variables, including relevant values like lower and upper bounds, are created quickly and easily with minimal mouse clicks. Next, responses, outputs of interest, are created intuitively using the model graphics to make selections. Details can be added, such as which load step to use, and in this case, which velocity component and frequency range to extract. Exploration goals, optimization objectives, and exploration constraints could be created at this time as well. The Design Explorer contains tools for seamless job submission and monitoring. When an exploration's runs have finished, the Results Explorer is used for post-processing and results interpretation. From the Exploration Summary table, we can view the exploration results or load results for individual runs. We can create a dashboard and load results of additional runs for investigation or comparison. To continue filling in our dashboard, we can also plot data related to the exploration runs. In this example, We'll overlay velocity curves for the same runs whose results are animating to the right so that we can compare their respective peaks. The Results Explorer contains additional tools such as linear effects plots used to see the relative impact each design variable has on a given response, providing greater insight into the design and how changes to the design will affect key performance indicators. Next, the trade-off panel allows users to change design variable values and predict corresponding response values without the need of any additional solver run. Finally, scatter plots can be created, plotting relationships between inputs and outputs, overlaying constraints to see which runs fall within the acceptable design space.